Uh, well, Claire, how do you see the fallout from the midterm election, and what do you expect it to mean in the year ahead? Well, really, I'm concerned about it. Uh, I think the Republicans had their chance, and they blew it. They owned the House, and they owned the Senate, and they blew it. Um, this investigation is going on against Trump. I was just researching again to see now how much money he has spent on that. I really dislike when taxpayers' money is wasted. And I feel that it's wasted tremendously in Washington, D.C. with all these ridiculous investigations. Mm -hmm. The millions that went out just in paying salaries and benefits. Right now, the total, the best I could find, the total somewhere between 17 and 20 million dollars that has been spent on this thing. And it starts out saying they're going to investigate Trump on this Russia collusion. That wasn't panning out, so now it's went to something else and something else. One has just come out and say, we're doing everything we can to impeach this man. Because that's what it's really all about. You and so is that what you expect? You expect to see more of that? I expect uh, now that the Democrats have won. At least two years. Yeah, yeah, I think that since the Democrats have won this midterm, we got the scary Pelosi who is going to be Speaker of the House. Mm -hmm. um, that woman scares the hell out of me. I'm sorry. I just don't trust her. And then you got Weinstein, and then you got this Maxine Walters. She's supposed to be head of finance. I don't see these people doing anything good because it's all said, Maxine Walters especially, that impeach, impeach, impeach. She's famous for that little speech she made about impeach, impeach, impeach. I have to ask them all the question, what are you going to do for America? What are you going to do for me? All the people here that are paying this money into you people and you're focusing on impeaching the man who we said we wanted to be president. Now maybe you're upset about the fact that Hillary supposedly won the popular vote. I'm not going to argue one way or the other. I think that our voting system has been corrupted, and I don't trust that those votes are really accurate. Mm. But what is accurate and what is true is that the Constitution was followed, and that is that the Electoral College put Trump, put Trump in as president by a big margin. It's happened five times. And that's the way the Constitution says that the president will be installed. Now, most of the time, the uh, popular vote and the uh, electoral college coincide. <laughs> they both yeah. go the same way. And once in a while, you get it to go the other way. And I think with their choice this time, they made the right choice. The sad thing is, there is so much hatred in Washington, D.C. and throughout our country, and you can really see it when you talk Trump of how many people just literally hate this guy. They wouldn't even give him a chance to do anything. In this midterm election, I honestly felt that if the people voted with their minds and not their hearts or their feelings, mm -hmm. that they would have put the Republicans right back in there because of the accomplishments that Trump has made. You can say about the wall what you want to say about the wall, but I'll tell you, I'd rather see money spent in the wall than spent in this stupid investigation that they're doing right now is going absolutely nowhere. We've got the caravan problem now that's coming to this country and you've seen some of my letters, I take it, that yeah. as far as I'm concerned it's an act of war. And it showed those people coming up through there, they weren't carrying the American flag, saying we want to be Americans, they were carrying their flag. When you do that and you attack any country in mass numbers, that's an act of war. Whether you're coming with guns or not, it's still an act of war. Mm -hmm. And we have every right to protect ourselves. Um, I know there are those, Democrats especially, want to take that wall down, they want to open borders. Then we don't have America. You can't say we have America if you don't put any borders around it. There is none.